Ena Sango, um, the regional manager for Afritech Seeds Limited, which is a, a company based in Africa, in Kenya. And uh, we are operating uh, in Western Kenya. Uh, this, uh, uh, our project is targeting farmers within the Western Kenya region. Well, our main business has been involved in uh, research to come up with the best uh, rice seed variety for our region. In 2015, Afritech uh, Seeds Limited entered into partnership with the IFDC uh, to enhance this uh, development of uh, our farmers so that they could get the best out of their farming. And uh, some of the key areas that uh, this partnership has really seen a lot of, uh, uh, of benefit is uh, our outreach to the farmers. We decided to go down to the to the farmers within their community and uh, farm schemes to ensure that uh, we train them on the best agronomical practices and uh, this was uh, engineered through the progress of uh, bringing on board the farmer field schools where we brought on, on board the TOTs who reached down to the farmers and uh, trained them on the best rice farming. We have been in a position to train over 2,000 farmers on the good agronomical practices. Through our partnership with IFDC, we developed one of the best rice seeds in, uh, in Kenya, actually in Africa, called AT058, which has very good quality compared to other varieties which were there in the past. Uh, the seed is really giving much increase. In fact, most of the farmers before used to get uh, between 10 to 15 bags in an acre of land. But uh, using the 8058, many farmers actually are getting between 35 to 40 bags from an acre, which is quite a tremendous improvement. Again, this partnership uh, with the IFDC has uh, this, uh, gave us an opportunity to bring on board our women who have really been left behind in farming. And we have uh, two women groups that are seriously engaged in, uh, in horticultural uh, farming, they're doing uh, local vegetables and uh, this has really been a serious achievement because the women right now, if, uh, if, you, go to, if you go to their farms, you'll find that uh, they are doing this uh, during the time when they are not engaged in rice. Apart from this, uh, the, the seed uh, program, we have also seen uh, IFDC being that they are, an, uh, they are experts in the, in the fertilizer program, we have also been able to bring on board the fertilizer deep placement. Actually, I've tested it with so many farmers and uh, many farmers within our locality in Western Kenya, uh, partly in uh, West Kano and Gemrai, have developed, uh, have adopted this technology of, uh, of uh, fertilizer deep placement so that uh, the, 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 the older method of applying fertilizer is no longer being used by some of our farmers. Another area we have been a privilege to organize and uh, attend uh, take part in uh, regional agricultural regional shows in Kisumu and even in Migori County courtesy of FDC through their funding and that has give, that gave us an opportunity to reach to so many farmers in western Kenya actually our stand was even ranked one of the best that was visited by the the, the cabinet secretary of agriculture for Kisumu County finally Fritech developed a, a training rice manual for for, for, for the locals and uh, in our partnership with IFDC we were able to translate this into Lua version which right now we have distributed to many farmers and they are using it you know as a reference material as they do their farming. Ed, 80058 is uh, the first local uh, bread rice variety that Afritech Seeds Limited has come up with and this seed is one of the actually it is the best in this region. Why are we saying so? Because the, the, you, you, can, you only use 8 kgs of 8058 to do one acre. This is a unique thing because in the past, most of the, the varieties that we have around, you have to use about 25 kgs to do one acre. So it's very economical. It's a cheap variety compared to the other ones that are also in existence. Because uh, like one, uh, 8 kgs, which does an acre, only goes for 2,400 Kenya shillings. One of also the qualities of this seed is that uh, it has very good milling output. The grains do not break during milling and are very white and high quality.
ya nyingena ilungo ni polo tino ndole anjapur mar michele mawoke southwest kano irrigation scheme kama wantia ni nhl kum scheme ilungo ni nyakalawa scheme ma nhl kum southwest irrigation scheme mawati mipur mar michele aduwa kwero kamano ne jo ifdc uh, to scale program kore record jo jo afritech seed company machi mwala chiel no bire scheme wa mupo njoa kaka wanyalo tiyo gi kodhi manyien kupogore kod kodhi mane watiyo ko chon kodhi mane watiyo ko chon ne watiyo kodhi manya dala maonge gima ne wanyalo yude koro kane gi biro gi program go to ne gi puonjo wa mokwongo kane pogemia wa kodhi go mane ngiso ko tiyo gi kodhi go koro kaka ana chiru kumjo mano ka okothe go na biro matimo kaka ne giwacho na e puotha uwon mane akao kilo aboro kum eka chiel mane chon atiyo mna gi kilo prariyo ga bich eka chiel koro kana keto nano kodhi koda maber mane abedo janeno ni kila boro no pidho eka chiel modong moro mane nyalo chaka pidh kama chielo kendo bange mara reyo kane kodhi no deka mano kothe wamo no pidho choni pio ingo kane pio biro mangen chopi ketho no ido ka AT058 no ne pio ko kethe pino biro mangen kothe mwenu chwe madu mara ngwen ne ko kethe bange mara reyo ne waido ka koro no wok mangen no golo tiela mangen milungo ni telas Ogolo mangeny molo ayar ayar golo prade gareyo teno golo praboro nyaka miya chel ge prareyo tayar golo prade gareyo kende mana ko golo mangeny mugik teno golo praboro nyaka miya ge prareyo ko no prifa ni kodhi no in kodhi maber mane nyalo konyo jopur makata sani endi nane no ko ka han japur achiel mana no lokruok kala en kare jopur dute ni mondo gi dhi kuno mukete ka nyangande wanti ko nyangande agrovet ke dia hero wanti ko petma agrovet ko ngoi kawe e kodhi gi nengo manchien maber to kendo pidho kama lach kama wakawa ya harsling alufa uchi elgiwe en wakawe siling alufa chiel alufa reyo gimi ya ngwen to pidho kama duong moloyo manawa kito mangenye puwethe aduwa kero kamano ne jo afritech kagere wa record jo ifdc to scale program mondo gi med kelo nwa gik menye ni mubiro magen godo to gi kelo nwa to apply mondo wa ipur machon manyachon manami yo gik mwa kokte mwa mabela aduwa kero kamano I'm Miriam Siwa. I'm the Acting General Manager, Lake Basin Development Company. Now, Lake Basin Development Company is a commercial wing of the Lake Basin Development Authority. So while the authority handles uh, the socioeconomic uh, development agenda, here we handle commercial uh, issues. And everything that I do here must be seen to be bringing in some money. So our way of looking at the activities, our engagement with the farmers uh, is totally different from the way that uh, the authority looks at, uh, at the farmers over time. Now, uh, with specific reference to Nyabon, uh, considering that uh, Lake Basin Development Company is a leading integrated uh, commercial investment company in this region, we lean more on agricultural products. For the time being, the main agricultural product that we are handling is rice. Uh, at the initial stages when the company was being set up, the main reason behind it was to provide market to the rice farmers. And uh, one of the institutions that we really want to appreciate in as far as our getting to understand the farmers and farmers getting to understand us and so we are able to read from the same script is Nyabon. Nyabon has come in um, quite handy in this way. They come and we discuss and we give them our expectations as a company. And they find a very good and acceptable way of packaging that information and they pass it back to the farmers in the language and in the format that the farmers understand much better than if we had to deal with them or how we have dealt uh, with the farmers before. Making payment to the farmers was also very easy because these farmers are organized. They about made sure they opened accounts at KCB. So from my end, it was a matter of indicating who is owed what and I write one check instead of write, uh, writing 300 or 400 checks and sometimes you end up writing a check for 5,000 shillings. Sincerely, it does not make sense. We have a number of farmers in this region who prefer to sell their products to whoever has the money. And now we are not talking about the, 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 the price per kilogram. For example, we are the pest setters as a government institution, as, as a major consumer of, of, uh, of, of the rice that is uh, 
produced by the farmers. So we shall set the price with National Cereals and Produce Board. If only farmers would learn to be more patient. Yes, we may not be having that money as a major buyer at that particular time. But we have storage facilities and we always encourage the farmers to come and make maximum use of the storage facilities. Let them store their produce until the price is a little bit steady. But they should not be under obligation to sell the rice at a throwaway just because they want cash money. So that is an issue that we are trying to address with the farmers through Nyabon. It's really provided that platform. So we are looking forward to a repeat and a repeat of the experience that we have um, had with Nyabon. And uh, we hope other institutions will come up and uh, continue supporting Nyabon so that they can enlarge or they can expand or they can enhance whatever they are doing. Because if only they, 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 they had the capacity, then they would go to other schemes and where we have outgrowers and probably repeat what we have seen them doing with Nyangande. And if that was done, then uh, the issue of rice shortage in this country or in this region would be a thing of the past. I am Vincent Odiambo, working with Nyabon Enterprises, which is a local company uh, providing uh, mechanization solutions to smallholder farmers to enhance their productivity uh, in rice production. Uh, currently, we are working with IFDC, two-scale program, to empower local uh, small-scale uh, farmers in Nyangande, CNCC3, uh, in rice production. We package our mechanization depending on the value chain uh, uh, which the farmers are looking at. Uh, for instance, uh, in the rice, we provide mechanization solutions from, uh, plant from land preparation, uh, uh, transplanting, weeding, harvesting, transportation, uh, and also helping the farmers, uh, uh, with linking the farmers to the market. Last year, when Nyabon Enterprises got into partnership with IFDC, we worked with uh, uh, 85 farmers uh, and covered 54.2 uh, uh, acres where we produced rice uh, with the Nyangande and CC3 farmers. Compared to their previous uh, work, the production was uh, over 70% of improvement. And uh, we brought in some other partners uh, like uh, Bayer Chemicals, uh, uh, Kenya Commercial Bank, uh, Lake Basin Development Company, all of which added value to ensure that uh, rice production is done well and that the farmers enjoy the profit in the process of production. It was very, very important to include uh, issues of entrepreneurship and uh, financial inclusion in the process. Since in the past, farmers would harvest, sell all their rice, and uh, uh, succeeding session, uh, season, they would not be having adequate money uh, to start up uh, the crop again. So Kenya Commercial Bank was brought in as a financial partner who, created, uh, who uh, opened up uh, accounts for each individual farmer through which their payments would be made and also provided financial literacy. Um, yeah, and uh, guidance to the farmers so that they could uh, invest their funds wisely and also uh, helping them uh, develop a relationship with the bank for access, easy access to credit. We also uh, developed a very strong relationship with the Lake Basin Development Company, which is the major uh, rice of Teka uh, and Amila in the region. Uh, they are the price setters in the market. Uh, so all the paddy that were produced by the farmers in CICC3 were all of taken by LBDC, uh, which then made payments directly to Kenya Commercial Bank through the farmer group account, and then the farmer group account made uh, payments to individual farmers. Other players, uh, uh, partners that we had like um, uh, Bayer East Africa provided chemicals and fertilizer and agronomic support to the farmers, uh, all of which were aimed to at empowering farmers. Mata ti no gelo mapuro gi nyabon morigore gi IFDC wa jopur masiany nyabon no miyo wa puonjo kano biro iruaka mano acha ko puro mchele mano puonjo wa puro laini mane wan iga moka do nchi wa yuto kabisa kendo sani wan gi yen wa di yuto ne kichnyo kelo no kodi manyen man gi mapato kabisa man gi yen wa di yudo yuto kaka dwarre mawange ni eka digo logunde prangwen kata prade gochiko 
kaka dwarore gi kodhi manyo kelo manyien. Fertilizer nitie manyo kel ma wakwongo apitho go. Alafu fertilizer mar ariyo iloso kaka patko ma wadhi pidho e kind michele kachiel kachiel ka wawuotho e kind michele. Mwan gi yie ni nyabon dhi miyo wa yuto kabisa e higa ni endi kendo. Chiro mane wayudo ne wauso ne jo Lake Basin no chulo wa e bank mar KCB. My name is Al Mong Benso, working with County Government of Kirinyaga, Department of Agriculture, in charge of agribusiness, development and marketing in Mwea East Sub-County. Uh, I would say this is a program, uh, Urea Deep Placement. We have been doing it with, uh, together I mean, in collaboration with IFDC, two-scale program. We have partnered with the Mwea rice growers, multi-purpose, with outgrowers. And the purpose of the UDP, it is pegged on two, three points. The placement where you put the, the fertilizer. Use of urea granules, that is urea super granules, which is ranges between two to three grams. And basically the idea is, I'm the concept, I'm the technology, is to promote and produce more rice with cheaper nitrogen. And I would say we had several demonstrations and a few days promoting and um, sensitizing the use of urea super granules. Kwa majina mimi naitwa Cyrus Mudhoi. Mimi ni mkulima wa Mwea Irrigation na sana sana tunalima tukiwa pamoja na MRGM. Na sana wakati mwingi mnatusaidia na mawaidha fertilizer wanatusaidia naye wakiletewa fertilizer mpya na kama sana sana kwa muda wa season 2 wamenileta fertilizer ya kampani ambayo inaitwa IFDC hiyo kampani imetusaidia sana na iko na fertilizer msuri sana kwa sababu hiyo fertilizer tukitumia kwa mashaba yetu tunaona ina mmea unanawiri sana Na tunaona hata mmea unatoa tiraling sana. Sio kama zile fataisa zigine tunatumia hapa. Tunaona mchere unakuwa vizuri, unakuwa na mazao mingi. Na hata begu, begu yenyewe inakuwa na guvu kuliko begu hizi zigine. Sasa kwa hii mchere mnaiona hapa nimekusa na eh, baraka wakati wa kwanza. Arafu na top dressing na urea ile ya deep ile ya kuweka huko ndani 